guys, I'm Boo. We're in New Jersey, and today I'm going to review a package I got in the mail. Actually, I'm going to open a package I got in the mail. What I ordered was the Nautilus 2. Now, I had the Nautilus 1, and I really liked it. Actually, I got the Nautilus 1 late into my vaping career, I guess you would say. Um, <laughs> I really liked it for a mouth-to-lung tank. And at that point, I was more of a lung hitter, direct lung inhale. And uh, so... I needed something that more mimicked a cigarette, and I got the Nautilus One Tank, which I picked up from a local shop by me for about 20 something dollars. And uh, because it was a relic, you know, I, I, I guess I got a decent deal on it. Anyways, so later on, the Nautilus Two came out, and I was a little skeptical about it. I thought it looked a little bit like a fish tank, um, <laughs> just because of that weird oval shape, you know, the uh, round uh, shaped uh, glass. And the Nautilus 2, as far as I've seen, works just as good as the Nautilus 1. But my Nautilus 1 grew legs and walked away. Because somebody stole it from me. And it's really crappy when that happens. But, you know, things do happen. People lose their mods. They break their mods. Uh, so, right now I'm just going to go ahead and open up this package and we'll see what's inside. Okay, guys. And this is a brand new in-the-package Nautilus 2. Uh, on the back it says to learn more about our products and how to use, please visit AspireEsig.com from Shenzhen uh, A-Gate Technology Company Limited. So basically manufactured and made in China um, and it's top fill, precise adjustable airflow, compact yet curvy design, 2 mil capacity so it is TPD compliant and improved flavor production. Uh, I don't know if you can see that as well as I would like you to. Let me go ahead and just kind of focus that up. <clears throat> now, as I tend to hate these packages when they're brand new because they are so very difficult to get into. Okay, there we go. We'll just rip the cellophane off. Let's get that to the side. Now you can probably see the packaging a little bit better, but it's very nice packaging. You have your scratch and sniff there. Uh, authentication and this is the anodized black um, unfortunately the other colors were not available so I just wanted the black anyway because it goes with the mod I'm going to be putting this on sorry if you guys are gonna get like cringy at this but I'm just gonna rip into this because after this I have no need for the packaging so <clears throat> okay looks like there's a little tail here that I can pull this out of the box with there we go all right in the box we've got our how to fill it cards and all that jazz um please refrain from refilling your tank above the max line indicator so i guess there is a max line on the coils and let's see this is learn more about the products how it goes together uh, coil installation and top fill, which if you're a newbie vapor, you might want to look into that stuff just to figure out some info about it, but you don't really need too much info about it. There is a warranty card that comes with it, just basically manufacturer defects, things like that. So if there is a defect with the product, which uh, this product has been out on the market for a very, very long time, so I highly doubt that I'm going to have any issues with the product. Oh, it was on the other side the whole time. So the cool thing is you get two drip tips, one that's plastic and one that's metal. You get a coil with this, one that's built into the one that's screwed in already. You get some uh, O-rings. Yeah, there's just a butt fuck ton of O-rings in here. I don't necessarily always need the extra O-rings. I'm going to go ahead and pull this tank out. Okay, it has the matchy matchy plastic drip tip in this one. There is quite the juice well inside there. It does come with a coil installed and this is not meant for any hybrid mech mods or anything like that. It's branded with the Nautilus 2 and you know some other writing on the bottom. Well there's the thing right here. Here is your AFC and it's a decently smooth um, spin for the airflow. I don't mind that one bit. I think that's very nice. It's very loose. And I think once you get a little juice on there, you know, from just filling and whatnot, it's going to be very loose. But 
easily adjusted nothing crazy it does have a stop right there and a stop right there but in the meantime I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew this because I want to see what makes this sucker tick now luckily for us this glass is separate from the tank body itself so this is more of a shroud and a top piece than anything else uh, the coil installed let's see let's see if we can get this glass off easily or not if I spin the glass I can well I can just spin the glass that's about it it doesn't feel like it pops off very easily at first uh, so I'm not really gonna pop it off because there is a coil in here 18 to 23 watts 0.7 coil uh, this is a I don't know if this is a, a BVC yeah BVC so bottom vertical coil uh, which you can actually see it in there pretty well if you look down in there it's actually very very easy to see so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and get some juice and fill this up now on top of the uh, things you get in the package there is another coil here which looks like it is a 1.8 yes a 1.8 um, ohm coil and then there is an extra glass that is a huge plus because I know a lot of times I will break my glass like you would not believe how many times I break my glass is there something in the bottom of this I don't think so I think it's just part of the foam so basically we have that extra coil an extra drip tip which is a metally drip tip I don't tend to like the metally drip tips two reasons when it's cold outside I don't like putting my mouth on a cold vape it just feels weird and I don't like it uh, also the silver uh, drip tips tend to gather a lot of mouth gunk so I don't really get into that either but I'll put those aside just like I put aside the other uh, o-rings and such and we'll go ahead and fill this up today I have some if you guys have heard of the, this juice it's Harpoon e-liquids Armada this is a peach yogurt I had another one called torpedo which kind of reminded me of a beard vape uh, flavor which was a cinnamon funnel cake or something like that um, this is very good but I don't have a good coil in my other tank to put it on so this is aside from this shitty bottle because it's such a shitty way to get these friggin top caps off with these childproof things and the drippers it's a little bit of a pain in the ass but ultimately what I'm gonna do here now that I've shaken up my juice I'm gonna go ahead and put about three drops oh one two three down the center I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the tank now this is a two mil capacity tank so it's not gonna be real crazy in terms of uh, lasting you I'm gonna fill it a little bit higher than the actual fill line here just because I know it's gonna displace liquid and uh, unfortunately there is a fill line right where I right where I filled it to and luckily this part just screws right on to the whole thing so which is great for me actually because I love this design now I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on okay and it looks it actually feels like it doesn't take much to screw it together which is a beautiful thing I love that um, and there you have a pretty full Aspire Nautilus now I don't know about you but I'm gonna try it with maybe two of these um, and today I'm putting this on my alien 220 watt mod as you can see it's a little worse for the wear but not a big deal um, I'm just gonna go ahead and screw this right on actually before I do that I need to clear it because I had a uh, dripper on before so we got the no coil we go ahead and screw this on and see how it fits and it fits flush and flawless and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this wattage down new coil yes we've got a 0.834 so yeah it was a 0.8 ohm coil let me go ahead and set this up here change it from memory to wattage and the strength will go hard I always go hard so I'll bring this down to about 15 watts it actually looks really good with this color scheme we'll go up top and we'll test it out all right guys so we're back up top I got the Nautilus 2 on my alien 220 mod I've got it right now at 15 watts which is giving me 3.9 volts at 4 amps uh, so 
with that said, um, I'm going to go ahead and put it to three air holes um, from the smallest. So it's going to have these three here. Just the first three air holes. Um, and let's take a hit. Now the vapor production is really good for a mouth to lung coil. It's a little bit loose, but let me see what happens when I kick it down to two. That's a little tighter. I like it at the uh, the two smallest holes. 15 watts. It's very good flavor. It's an instant ramp up. It's not like it something that you have to like hit it and hit it and hit it and wait to see what happens. The flavor is very bang on with this. And the vapor production isn't bad either, which is a great thing. I really like this just out of the box, but I will come back um, in about a month and give you guys an update with what I've been uh, thinking about this tank. If it does compare to the original, because the original did have that gurgly problem um, where it would get gurgly and flooded with juice and I would have to flick it out, you know, into a paper towel. So we'll see how it holds up after about a month and I'll come back and re-review this or actually just give you the updated thoughts but for now at 15 watts for this coil is not bad at all I don't know how this is gonna hold up as a daily banger just because I'm very clumsy and I tend to drop my things very often as you can see by the amount of uh, wearing I've got on this mod you can see that I've dropped it a couple of times but this glass tank is very secure in its place it's very like protected by the metal on the sides so hopefully that will be a good thing and i do really like that um goldfish window there to be able to you know, see my level of juice very clearly i really like to know how much juice i have in the tank and to be able to see it like bubble up when i'm hitting it and stuff like that and know that it's wicking and so far this is a great little thing it's a great little tank i got it for a great price at vapewild.com for about I'm not entirely sure at the moment I will uh, go ahead and flash the price right here and uh, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description down below of uh, the website vapewild.com where you can get this and some great juice and some great other stuff if you're into you know maybe you're into direct lung maybe you're into mouth to lung and they have a lot of stuff that is just really good and I'm just gushing like crazy because I've been shopping with vape wild for so long uh, it's probably been probably about two or three years with vape wild and in two or three years in vape world that is a, a lifetime so uh, anyways that's where I'm gonna leave it for today I'll come back with a full review on this later on thank you guys for liking commenting and subscribing thank you for joining me again and I will see you guys in the next one